asking about uh, Luger or Larry. He is, uh, Larry is a, a phenomenal athlete in his own right. Uh, as far as pro football and, and, and I guess other athletics, the training and the weight training that he does, but Luger was uh, always tough to work with. And uh, I basically had to work with him and train him in Florida. And uh, it, uh, it took a lot of my ability and a lot of, a lot of blood. I mean, it, Larry was tough to work with and he was so stiff and so uncoordinated that, I mean, I've got hard ways on my head, stitches. There's probably one you can kind of see right here. I took uh, 22 stitches, but uh, I'll tell you a short story. Uh, we were in Daytona Beach and Luger was dressed up uh, uh, in the ring in his usual attire and I was the guest wrestler. It was a cage match and I was wearing a woman's dress and a and a uh, oh, what do they call the things with the feathers and all that on them. Anyway I was sitting at ringside kind of hiding so what I did is I climbed into the ring over the top of the cage got in the ring and was supposed to surprise Luger from behind and beat him up and we we're gonna go through our match. Well in the first 10 seconds of the match I climb over the top of the ring go up behind Luger, tap him on the shoulder, and he throws his arms up and he elbows me right between the eyes and laid my head open about two and a half inches long and all the way to my skull. So the referee was a fellow named Bill Alfonso. I looked at Bill and I said, how bad, it is, bad is it? And he, uh, he said, man, we need to go home right now, meaning you know we needed to finish the match. And uh, I said, we can't do that. So he said, uh, there's no way to look at it. So I reached up and I put my fingers into the hole in my head and uh, <laughs> it had stopped bleeding at that point but it was just laying open. It was huge and uh, Luger was standing there looking at me and Alfonso was looking at me and I said I, it's funny to say how these things go on in the ring you know when, when you're having a match and it's going on but you know in our mind you can have a whole conversation whereas to the to the fans or to the crowd, you know, it just, it looks like a fleeting moment. But in all that time there, we decided that we were going to go on with our match and we went another 45 minutes with my head laid wide open and Luger was about to puke and Alfonso didn't want to look at it. And I was, uh, anyway, long story short, just Luger was just so clumsy and hard to work with that uh, I was the one that had to train him in ring. And the story about the gash in the head, uh, I had waited so long that night and it swelled up so big that I wait till the next day to go and get it sewn up and like I said it was 22 or 23 stitches. So that's my first and most fond uh, story of working with Luger. <laughs>